Hi, it's Del D with the Del D Ortegon Real Estate Group here at Keller Williams Realty. Thanks again for watching my video blog. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the ins and outs of the counter offer and the option period. Before we begin, I'm going to point you to two areas on our video blog. If you're looking to buy a home, click here. Or if you're looking to sell a home, click here. So you put your house up for sale, a few buyers came and took a look at it, and you receive an offer. Wow, congratulations! At this point, you do one of three things. You can either accept it, deny it, or the best common path is to make the counter offer and negotiate it. When making a counter offer, you draft an offer with your agent that states that you'll sell your property to the buyer with the terms you've outlined. The two points of counter offer that are most commonly renegotiated are prices and dates. In terms of the price, sellers always want to sell at a higher price while buyers always want to buy at a lower price. The key is to find a happy medium that satisfies both parties. As far as the dates go, the best way to resolve any issues is to have both parties' agents discuss the issue before any offer is written. Doing this can also determine if there are any other issues that need to be dealt with before a pen is put to the paper. The more information each side has, the simpler the transaction will be. So, for example, the seller might need the funds from the sale to purchase their next property or the buyer might have already sold their home and now they have a date in mind when they need to transfer the funds to purchase the property in question. You might also have to counter offer what appliances or other attachments are included in the deal. If an agreement is reached, another renegotiation typically happens after the inspection when an inspector has looked at the property. There may be issues with the home that the buyer wasn't aware of beforehand. They still want to buy the property, but if they're fixing any repairs themselves, they want the, that reflected in the final sales price. If the buyer is getting a mortgage loan to buy your house, the bank will also hire an appraiser to evaluate the property. If there's any discrepancy between the price you and the buyer agreed to and what the appraiser values the house at, there will be a renegotiation over to how to bridge the gap between the two numbers. So during the counter offer and renegotiation period, the key is to establish a baseline for what you're looking for. If you're a buyer, you don't want to spend all your money on the sale and have nothing left over for repairs or renovations. As for the seller, they have an idea of what they need to take away from the property and communicate that early and often with their realtor. The more we know, the more we can help you. If you have any questions about counter offers, renegotiations, or you have any other real estate needs I can assist you with or my team, don't hesitate to reach out to us and we will be happy to assist you. Thanks again for watching my video blog. Again, this is Delti Ortegon with the Delti Ortegon Group here at Keller Williams Realty. And if you have any questions, you can call us at 956-648-6831. Or visit us at our website, sellingmcallen.com.